Imagine for a moment that the impossible has happened. A nuclear weapon has exploded over New York City. The world's favorite skyscrapers and vibrant neighborhoods known to all turn to ash. In this documentary, we explore the catastrophic consequences of such an event. In our simulation, we will use the main nuclear missile in service with Russia, the 800 kiloton Topol M missile. That's a very powerful nuclear charge. New York City can be considered a target because of its status as the world's financial center, its symbolic importance, and its concentration of critical infrastructure. When the bomb detonates, a fireball with temperatures comparable to the sun will expand to a radius of 0.6 miles dot. In this scenario, the epicenter is in Times Square. Instantly, the Empire State Building would be vaporized, and the people inside wouldn't even feel a thing. Landmarks like Bryant Park, Hell's Kitchen, and the Theater District, Manhattan would cease to exist in seconds. Within a five-mile radius, the Blast Zone, neighborhoods like Harlem, Williamsburg, Astoria, and Jersey City would suffer the most destruction. Buildings would collapse, and streets would be littered with deadly debris. Given New York City's high population density, the death toll could exceed 1 million and more than 1,500,000 people would be injured. The energy of the blast would spread up to seven miles, causing third-degree burns and setting fire to anything flammable, fuel stations, vehicles, electrical grids, and more. Flatbush, Elmhurst, Fort Lee, the fire would reach Ridgefield Park. All of these areas would be engulfed in fire, adding to the chaos. Another 600,000 people could die in that radius from burns, radiation sickness, and falling debris, and another 1,100,000 would be injured. Beyond seven miles and up to 12 miles away, the shockwave would blow out all glass. Casualties from glass cuts and wave force will affect areas as far away as Yonkers, Elizabeth, and Hempstead. Estimated fatalities will be 1,740,660. Estimated injuries, 2,888,820. If the explosion were to occur above ground, then the immediate blast area would be exposed to radiation, but no fallout would occur. If the explosion were to occur above ground, then the radioactive contamination would be significant, and the entire area from New York City to Boston depending on the wind direction, would be exposed to heavy radiation contamination. Topol-M can be launched from both stationary silos and mobile launchers. These complexes are designed to be highly maneuverable, allowing the missiles to be moved and launched from any location. Russia has about 72 of these complexes in service, but the number is gradually being reduced in favor of newer systems, such as the YARS takes an average of 15 to 20 minutes for a missile to reach from Russia to New York. This is a wake-up call. Nuclear weapons are jeopardizing our very existence. Share this video to raise awareness, and maybe by doing so we will prevent a similar disaster. Join the discussion in the comments. Let's work together to ensure that this remains just a hypothetical scenario.